Hi, I'm John Messer for Systems Church. Um, if we want to know what systems thinking is, it's easiest to compare it to linear thinking, which is our common way of thinking these days. Um, systems thinking is a, uh, is a way of thinking that sees the interconnections between everything. Um, linear thinking sees things as disconnected pieces. Um, so systems thinking recognizes that the things don't exist independently, but that there are interconnections, there are interdependencies between all the parts of a system. That means that linear thinking is when we see a problem, we see this and then we apply a fix and done. So it's basically flat. Problem, solution, done. Systems thinking, on the other hand, because everything is interconnected, because all the components are interdependent, when we apply a solution to one part of a system, it affects all the other parts of the system. And so rather than the linear, the flat thinking of problem, solution, done, which is just a flat line, systems thinking recognizes that there is uh, consequences and that there are outcomes from applying a change to the system. So anytime we apply a change, the change affects all the other parts of the system. So uh, one way of putting that is that every change changes everything. That recognizes a feedback from our system solution to all the parts of the system. And so that closes the loop, which is another way of thinking of systems thinking. It's circular or closed loop thinking as opposed to linear thinking, which is flat, linear, open loop thinking. Linear thinking looks at parts. Um, it's very scientific in the way it, th it approaches things in that uh, the common belief is that if we want to understand a whole, we can understand the parts. So we pull the system apart piece by piece by piece, and we think that by understanding the smallest components, we'll understand the whole. Systems thinking looks at that the exact opposite. If you want to understand a system, you have to look at the whole, and you understand the parts and the components in their function in the system, in the whole. So analysis is what we have been raised to do. We analyze things. We look at all of those independent pieces. We look at uh, the smallest parts. We get to smaller and smaller and smaller parts and thinking that if we can get down to that most basic elemental piece that somehow we'll have um, new understanding of the whole. That's the whole idea of linear thinking. It's very scientific, as I said, and that's what science does. System thinking is really about synthesis. It's, it, it recognizes components, but it's about the relationships between the components. How do all of these parts of a system interact and, and interdepend on one another in order to provide the system its function, its purpose, to accomplish what it is designed to do? Systems thinking is a new way of looking at things. It's a new perspective. Um, it's a way that we can understand things and how they really work in the world. And for church leaders in a social system, understanding the interconnections between individuals and groups and ministries and pieces is very helpful because so often our disconnected view, our, our analytical part orientation leads us to do things like um, apply fixes that don't really solve anything. They actually create more problems. Linear thinking is good for certain things, carpet color, small technical problems, but systems thinking is really best when we're looking at leading a uh, social system, which a church is a social system. So we'll have more on this next time. Thanks for being with me. This is Systems Church, and I'm John Messer.